Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna be talking about Etsy. For the most part, it's a lovely place where any normal person can open their own shop and sell their handmade items. But, let's be honest, buying a bunch of like homemade sweaters or something isn't that entertaining for a video. So instead, I decided to buy the strange things on Etsy like breast milk flavored toothpicks. Hmm. Yum. So I bought some. Uh, someone really sells this. Who, who titty that come from? Who, who made the flavor? From the look of it, it looks like a normal flavored toothpick shop with flavors like apple, cinnamon, mint flavored. Why have fresh minty breath when you could have fresh breast milky breath? Whoa. If that what breast milk taste smells like, I want some. That smells amazing. This is not breast milk. I'm gonna grab a couple so I can really get the breast milk in my mouth. It just tastes wood. I think I can kind of maybe get like kind of a sweet milky taste. I don't taste any of the breast though. For the most part, you don't taste anything. You just taste wood. This is it's a scam. Moving on, the next thing I bought, this is really a genius idea that's being sold on Etsy. So you know those Jesus candles that you've probably seen before? Well, on Etsy, this is a big thing. A lot of people are doing this. You can get custom print candles with anyone's face on it. Like this, for $15, you can get a Post Malone prayer candle. It's not bad, for $15, you can go from being a normal fan to being a creepy obsessed fan. And look just how many options there are. There's 92 pages of people selling candles. That's a lot of people selling prayer candles. If you don't know what to do with your life, maybe consider doing this, because it seems to be a pretty big thing. So what I got in this box, I think I had to pay a little more than 15, I think it was 20. I got a custom prayer candle with my face on it. When I ordered this, I told the shop owner, I didn't give them a picture of me, I told them just to Google Gabe Helmy and take a picture from Google or my Instagram. So I don't know what face is gonna be on this. This could be bad. There's a lot of old photos out there, or I mean, if you look, if you scroll down enough with my name, this dude shows up. So this guy can be on my candle. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys before I look at it myself. Ah, oh, what the? Is that a thumbnail? Did they make a thumbnail face? Anything but a thumbnail face. I forgot, I put it, I put on a woman's body too. Like Virgin Mary body, Virgin Gabe. Am I offending some kind of religion by doing this? I have to say though, this is gonna go great with like the, all the stuff I got last year, like my custom pillow. I did buy this, so I guess I should light it up. Now everyone say a prayer about me. This would be beautiful on the table of Thanksgiving, I would imagine. I look, <laughs> I look like I'm starting a cult. Next thing, these are pretty popular online mystery boxes. There's a lot of them on Etsy. Basically, you pay for a box and you don't know what's in it. It could be anything. So I bought one, as you can see by this receipt. So let's open it. Oh wait, it got lost in the mail. It got lost, the package. I waited so long for it and then it just never came. I tried contacting the shop, they're just not responding. So uh, we, I'm just having to film this video without it. But hey, on the positive side, I think we just missed out on maybe like a stupid t-shirt, a bar of soap there was probably gonna be, and like bad headphones I would never wear. So I don't think we missed out on much. But before we move on to the next item, there's a couple things that I still wanna mention but I didn't actually buy. I think you guys will understand why I might not have wanted to spend $2,000 on a Barbie shoved in a lobster. Literally $2,000. I was reading about this. I think this is classified as art, which, I mean, this is gonna sound sarcastic, but I can kind of see it. Art can be anything, really. It says here, the sculpture is 100% handmade by Chris Riggs with paint, a Barbie doll, and a lobster on thick wood. I have been wanting stuff for my background. I think that might look nice. This is another thing that I found online but didn't buy, and this one, I just didn't want it in my house. Real human teeth for $64. <laughs> One, who is buying human teeth and for what? Second, how did the owner 
get these teeth? I, that's what I really want to know that. How did he get all these teeth? These are all crusty and yellow. These teeth are from the 1800s. Remember, it's Etsy, so if you prefer, you can get real human teeth inside jewelry. This one I almost bought from this guy, but it might get me demonetized, so instead I'm just gonna show it and blur it all out. Whoever runs this shop, Mutual Rivals, sounds like a normal shop. They take regular stuffed animals and then sew plastic penises to them, and then he sells them. Uh, I don't, uh, what? I don't even know what to say to this. Five inch Valentine's Day white gorilla monkey plush with penis add-on. Great, if it really felt like it was missing something before the penis. He doesn't even make a big profit out of these. It's reasonably priced, $7. Not bad. But let's get back to the items that I actually bought. One of them, I can't wait, I can't wait. To, it's in this letter. Inside this letter right here is a pet cloud. A cotton ball with two googly eyes on it. I paid a total of 50 cents for this. Well, we know it was 50 cents and then 50 cents shipping. So a dollar. Again, I don't know how that person makes any profit. We have a pet cloud now. No kidding. You know what this is kind of equivalent to? This is equivalent to that pet rock that I bought one time. A pet rock and pet cloud. I look, I look lonely. And finally, the last one we're gonna talk about, it's a food item. Etsy actually has a lot of food for sale, which I don't know how safe that is because just like anyone can sell their cookies laced with crack. The one food item that did stand out to me was this person claiming that they sell the world's hottest chip. So I bought one of these. You might have heard of that challenge before, the one chip challenge I think it is. I think it's a chip made with Carolina Reaper spice or something and that's what makes it the hottest. This is that but like a knockoff. It comes with a glove. It wants me to touch it with a glove. Did I make a mistake by doing this because Sometimes you, you kind of just buy stuff because you're like, yeah, I'll do it in a video, but when it comes down to it, that being said, if you purchase one of these, please exercise extreme caution while handling, let alone consuming one of these. I make them and I wouldn't dare eat one. I don't know, that could just be all talk. I don't know. Oh, look how bad that looks. So much seasoning. Okay, let's, let's just do it. It's, it's one chip, it can't be that bad. Okay, it's hot. It hurts so bad down my throat. I have to leave, I have to leave. Okay, I think, I think it's done. Oh my God, I look. Okay, I, st I still just need to sit here for like five minutes. That was really bad. It wasn't that bad in the mouth. It was terrible in the throat. I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't breathe almost. It's been like 20 minutes. You can still just tell from my eyes. That chip was so hot. I don't know if I would have taken it if I thought it was that bad. That probably, that probably wasn't even fun to watch because I just left. I was just in my living room. Like, I didn't know what to do. Okay, I think that's where I'm gonna end the video. That chip. Screw that chip. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Sorry there was no video last week. I spent so much time buying, setting up, buying cables for this VR headset, and then I just couldn't figure out how to record it. I've already wasted so much time, but if you know a for sure way to record this type of VR headset without OBS, tweet me and maybe you can help me figure it out. I'm kind of over it though. I've already gotten help and I don't think that there is a way. Another thing I want to mention, I know I have been saying that I am gonna start streaming on Twitch, but I've been thinking about it and I really think I'm just gonna stream on YouTube. It just makes more sense. All of you are already on YouTube. I think it would just be easier. So I have this second channel that I made like two years ago and I never used it for anything. So I'll probably be streaming from here whenever I do. So I'll leave this in the description. I'll also probably just tweet out whenever I go live. So if you just wanna follow me on Twitter, if that's easier. And I think that's all I wanted to say. I don't know, that chip just really messed me up. I kinda can't think. Thank you all for watching this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next video.